Hello and welcome to my playthrough of Chrono Trigger. This is part 32. Yeah. In this episode, we will see the king on trial for theft of a very priceless artifact. So he gets to go through what we went through at the very beginning of the game. But first, grabbing the tab and suit and the tab and helm that I mentioned in the last episode. And while we're here, we finally get to see Lucia's mother walk around. So, that's confirmation of our good deed for the day. Now, from here is where we ended for Magnus's castle. I cut that bit in a bit or earlier because I did it really late game and you can get it any time after you get the moonstone. Though I think you might actually be able to get it earlier than the moonstone. It's just I forgot to do it at that time. You know, the first thing we do this is when we get back to the present. Is stop by the elder's house in the monster village. And we find out Ozzy's descendant is now the housemaid. And the housemaid is now in charge of the town. Get her magic capsule here too that wasn't here before check out the market and everything is so much cheaper and reasonable sadly by this point in the game all useless I think I might have grabbed a couple of potions there's nothing here the only other thing we have to do is introduce Ma Magus to her mother, and he's the final character to introduce. And then I switch off to Luca once I'm ready to go into the castle. Because, I'll be honest, he's pretty useless at this point. <sighs> hey look, it's a basement. Let's take a quick peek. Oh looky, there's monsters here. I guess we can all see what's coming up next. And for some reason, every time I go past that chest, I think we need to check it. And we can't do a thing with it until this little adventure is over. But one thing we do need to do, put Meryl in the front. Mainly just for this. And this is technically her quest.
Meryl completely forgets about us changing the future by finding the rainbow shell and having it placed in the castle. Luckily, we pretty much know where it is. At least this time I didn't go and try to open that chest. I started to, but I didn't. Now it'll flip between us fighting the monsters in each of these rooms and the trial after this point. And after this fight, I don't waste my magic. I just auto battle. It's easier. And faster. And she has a big mouth in that drawing. And the funny thing is, from what I've gathered from this, they've never even seen the rainbow shell. <clears throat> and don't forget to raid all the items when you have control over of your team in the room and not in the fight. And as I showed, we're just going room by room. And just auto battling our way through because I mean they're just one hit wonders at this point. We're basically fight, fighting the same stuff we fought in the cathedral. At the level it was at the cathedral. Grab all the items. Can't get those chests, unfortunately. And now we search the rainbow shell. And we find Mom's letter. And I'm pretty sure between this and finishing what we saw earlier, finishing up Frog's Adventure and a few other hints along the way that this fake chancellor is behind basically everything in this century that we went through. Just for time's sake, I really wish we'd have just zoomed from where we were to right out in front. And I hope those two guards for listening to the Chancellor and the abuse they gave get executed. do love showing that stained glass. They must put a lot of work into it.
to this day, I don't really know how to say this fella's name. All I know is just kill him quick. <coughs> and he really loves to use confuse. So since he targeted those two, Meryl's the only <gasps> one that can attack. So she's the one I put haste on. And because I didn't take a minute to heal up, before the fight, I had to use uh, some ether. And do some healing. And unfortunately, the status effects Neutralize haste, I believe. Uh, no, it's still there. Good to know. Because I know haste will neutralize slow, and slow will neutralize haste. But I couldn't remember any if the others knocked it out or not. I swear, there's this little part of me that swears, and I might be remembering it wrong, but I don't believe the scoreboard with their hit points covered up their bars in the original. But don't quote me on that. It's been a very long time since I played it. I miss items on occasion. Get frustrated. Because I played it so much in New Game Plus where everything's easier after the second run through. after the second run through you have enough items for everybody. Now, once we beat them here, through a bit of John as the king finally apologizes for all the things he's done. <coughs> and this is his final attack as he dies. Kind of a good thing we healed up. And like his ancestor, he also drops a key. And a mega elixir. I didn't catch that last time. Makes you wonder what we could have stole if we'd have put Ally in instead of Luca.
but for this one I wanted the people from the raid era on the team now let's get through this John and the king tries to get away with his abuse of power with Chrono earlier in this little speech if you catch it finished here in the throne room well first we gotta put up with Melkor and decide what we wish to get could have gone and got the key And that's exactly what we're going to do. I already had my mind made up. Now let's open this box we couldn't unlock. And look, it's another Chancellor. the real one. Now we'll go see Melkor. And we get to choose between a prism dress or three prism helms. I always choose the prism dress the first run. And put it on Meryl. Then my second run through, I grab the helms. And alternate back and forth until I get all three. Prismatic dress and seven of the helms and I sell off the extra two. My only mistake was I didn't talk to him a second time and give him the Moonstone. Instead, I came in here because I couldn't remember what the dish's name was. And that's a hint the king knew what, what was what. He was just being a Jealous daddy, we'll say. Now, Colonel of the Earl. Oh, then I can see the point. So, about half the guards got killed because they were monsters. So, I'm taking that. And surprisingly, you can't sleep here. You can come to visit, but you can't stay here. And we'll work our way out of the castle. Hmm. 
we finally get her apology for everything that happened at the beginning of the game. And we'll set up for our next adventure. Which will be Robo's quest in the future, and our final of the original side quests. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content.